Well, hello and welcome. If you're new to this channel and enjoy learning about different words, one word at a time, then, then don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's learn about today's word. Today's word is insuperable. Insuperable. What it means is something described as insuperable is impossible to gain control of, solve, or overcome. For example, the book tells the inspiring story of a group of people who achieved a great deal despite their nearly inseparable obstacle. In a quote by Charles McNulty, McNulty of the Los Angeles Times on March 19th, 2023, states a love story comes into meteoric a focus of this musical I think they were referring to the lonely few which features a book by Rachel Bonds and a score by Zoe Sanark, two women who attended their cultural roots yet alienated by the conservative values of their communities, hold for each other the answer to the problem until now have seemed insuperable. Did you know? Insuperable is a super word. That is, it belongs to the family of English terms that comes from Latin super, meaning over. Um, it appears in print in the 14th century and as a close synonym of insur insurmountable. It is until it, it still essentially means what it did then. Insuperable comes directly from the Latin word insuperalis, which was formed by combining the negative pre, prefix in with the verb, <coughs> excuse me, Super, which comes from super and means to surmount, overcome. Excuse me. Um. Oh, I forget where I was. Which comes from there we go, which comes from the super and means to sure mount, overcome, or excel. And the adjective abilis meaning able. Hence insurmountable. The word can describe physical barriers that cannot be scaled, such as walls or mountains as well as more phys figurative uh, obstacles. And I, for some reason, cannot read this morning or this afternoon. And with that, I will see you all in the next one.